to Friday, May tenth, twenty twenty four. Uh, since it we I have to only, uh, I only have to work until two thirty this afternoon. Basically, it's a half day holiday for me. I'm super excited. As with other days, I would like to read an English article to practice to learn English. Yes, I like English very much. But since I'm Korean, I have to practice English. Uh, like a reading an English material on a daily basis, uh, so the, here I am. It's a purely academic. But since I work for Korea Telecom KT, my employer, I have to be knowledgeable about networking systems, protocols, all other sorts of IT systems. And one of my customers is Kwangju Bank and its subsidiaries. And the banks use a Swift system, Swift code, and some other times we need to maintain the network for them, uh, or if they move from point A to point B, uh, we need to also uh, move the network to point B. So we have to be knowledgeable about the uh, Swift system uh, to have a comfortable conversation with them and plan well. Uh, for that movement, so it's purely uh, academic and also professional effort to stay on the par. And this article is from T Party, very famous uh, company. I think I've never read this article, but I will now. What is Swift? Understanding the Swift system, we've paired this article with a comprehensive guide. To global payment methods, get your free copy of the global payment method guide. Get the free guide. What is Swift table of contents? Uh, Swift Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunications is a global member-owned cooperative that functions as a huge messaging system. Members, banks, and other financial institutions use it to quickly, accurately, and securely send and receive information, primarily money transfer instructions. Essentially, it is a sophisticated conduit for international electronic funds transfers, EFTs, right? EFT, EFTs. Uh, international <clears throat> electronic funds transfer, electronic funds transfer, electronic funds transfer, EFTs. Understanding SWIFT. SWIFT is not a financial institution or a banking system. It doesn't move money. Instead, it's a messaging system that sets up the transfer of money between member banks and other member financial institutions right 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 yeah i'm thirsty i'm thirsty so i'm looking for a, a water a cup of water for me so it's not a, a money transfer but instructions right instructions that's key point uh, it's essentially a payment network that allows individuals and businesses to take <coughs> electronic or card payments even if the customer or vendor uses a different bank than the payee. Members pay a one-time fee to join plus annual support charges according to member classification. Annual Support charges, right? Annual support charges. <clears throat> the SWIFT messaging network has become a crucial part of the global financial infrastructure. In 2021 alone, more than 11,000 global SWIFT member institutions sent an average of 42 million messages per day through the network. Wow, that's a lot. That represented an 11% increase, 11.4% increase 
over 2020. So it is increasingly uh, the network is clogged and swarmed. Uh, for example, you've used the PayPal, that kind of a third party uh, banking system allows international funds to be transferred a lot. While SWIFT retains its dominant position in the processing of global payments, it has begun expanding into other areas. Among them are reporting utilities and data for business intelligence. Over the next two years, SWIFT plans to extend beyond financial messaging to provide a platform for transaction management services. To, uh, to provide a platform for transaction management services. How does SWIFT work? SWIFT uses codes to facilitate money exchanges. It assigns each member organization a unique code that has either 8 or 11 characters. That code does goes by any one of the following names. The bank identifier code BIC, 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 BIC. B, uh, bank identifier code, SWIFT code, SWIFT ID, or ISO 9362 code. Example of a SWIFT code. For example, the code for the Italian bank, Unicredit Banca, based in Mon Milan, is UNCRITNM, uh, UNCRITM. First, the four characters comprise the institute code UNCR for Unicredit Bank. Uh, next two characters represent the country code IT for Italy. The uh, last two are the city where the bank is located, MM for Milan, not a chocolate cookie. Uh, there is uh, no specific branch code in this case. So the funds will be made available in the Milan headquarters bank. <coughs> SWIFT code, UNCRITIM MM. Country code, two letters. Branch code, three letters, numbers optional. Uh, bank code, four letters, abbreviating bank's name. Location code, two letters and numbers. <laughs> what is a SWIFT net? To facilitate the transactions, members use a proprietary messaging platform called SwiftNet. Due to the increasingly complex and diverse requirements of its members, SwiftNet offers four messaging services that each allows seamless straight through straight through processing. Yeah, it's been a long while. Uh, to encounter seamless, right? Seamless, problemless, troubleless, without trouble. Fin, this is Swift's original messaging service that enables the exchange of messages formatted with the Swift's traditional MT standards. Those are widely accepted and used by the financial community, right? MT sounds like magnetic tape. <laughs> right? Wrong? <laughs> I don't know myself. Interact. Like a friend, this enables the exchange of messages on a message by message basis and supports the exchange of proprietary formats between market instructor, instructors, infrastructures, and their customers. Interact offers more flexibility, including store and forward messaging, real-time messaging, and real-time query and response options. It also allows the exchange of MX message types, which were developed in accordance with Industry 2020 uh, Standard Methodology, File Act. This enables the transfer of large batches of messages, such as bulk payment files, very large reports, and operational data. 
Web access. This allows the SwiftNet users their freedom to browse securely on financial websites available on SwiftNet using standard internet technologies and protocols. Customers can connect to the Swift environment in different ways, directly via permanent list lines, the internet Swift's cloud service Lite 2, directly via their appointed partners. What is it? Web access. This allows SwiftNet users the freedom to browse securely on financial websites available on SwiftNet using standard internet technologies and protocols. Yeah, like it sounds like a VPN. Directly via permanent list lines, the internet, uh, Swift's cloud service, Light2, directly via their appointed partners. Swift also offers a range of interfaces that provide seamless links between users' internal systems and the Swift environment. Power your entire partner payouts operations. <coughs> the customer satisfaction. Annual transactions, $20 billion plus. Partners are $4 million plus. Uh, 4,000 customers, customers retention. Example of Swift transaction. As sophisticated as Swift payment technologies, using it is pretty straightforward. For example, suppose a Bank of America branch customer in the New York wants to send money to a friend who uses who, uh, who banks at the Unicredit Bank branch in Venice, Italy. The New York customer can walk into a Bank of America branch with a friend's account number and an Unicredit Bank's unique Swift code for its Venice branch. Bank of America will send the payment transfer SWIFT message to the Unicredit Banker branch of the secure SWIFT network. When Unicredit receives the uh, SWIFT message about the incoming payment, it will clear and credit the money to the Italian friend's account. It's as simple as that for the user. It's as simple as that for the user. Is as simple as that for the user. That's good cliche, man. You need to remember this sentence. It is as simple as uh, as simple as as that for that customer. Brief history of Swift. Before Swift, Telex was the only way international wire transfers could be confirmed low-speed security finance concerns and a free message format undermined its effectiveness. Moreover, it had no unified system of codes that could name banks and financial institutions. What the heck? Uh, Telex senders had to describe every transaction in sentences that the receiver then had to interpret. Human error plus slower processing times hampered this approach. It had no unified system of codes that could name banks and financial institutions. Telex senders had to describe every transaction in sentences that the receiver then had to interpret. Human error plus sl slower processing times hampered this approach, hampered, hampered this approach, hampered this approach. In 1973, 239 banks from 15 countries came together to collaborate on a better way to handle communications for international payments. The central banks formed a cooperative utility called the Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunications SWIFT, headquartered in Belgium. SWIFT went live with its messaging services in 1977, replacing the cumbersome telex technology, cumbersome, right, cumbersome, hampered, cumbersome telex technology, 
it rapidly became a reliable global partner for institutions worldwide. SWIFT now spans every continent, 200-plus countries and territories, and services more than 11,000 institutions around the world. That's a lot. The main components of the original services included a messaging platform, a computer system to validate and route messages, and a set of message standards. Yes, a set of message standards. The, the standards were developed to A, allow for a common understanding of the data across linguistic and systems boundaries, and B, permit the seamless automated transmission receipt and processing of communications exchanged between users. Validate, right? Automated the transmission, receipt, and processing. What can SWIFT be used for? Today, over 40 years since its inception, since its inception, that's a good expression, since its, its inception, birth, SWIFT's integration and messaging management solutions support a broad range of applications. They include the complex, high-volume messaging needs of the world's largest institutions to the lower volume cost-sensitive needs of smaller banks like the one in the example above and corporate entities. SWIFT products and services are as varied as the financial industry itself, are as varied as the financial industry itself, varied, as varied, as simple as that offers a range of access options, uh, pro produces messaging management software packages, carries out macroeconomic analyses, enables back-office automation, supports financial crime compliance and standards implementation, offers professional training, helps users enhance their security and resilience. In addition, SWIFT connections offer access to many valuable applications such as real-time instruction, matching for treasury and foreign exchange forex transactions. Access also extends to securities market infrastructure for processing, clearing, and settlement instructions for payments, securities, forex, and derivatives transactions. So clearing, settlement, right? Securities market infrastructure for processing, clearing, and settlement instructions. Processing, clearing, and settlement. Recently, SWIFT introduced the dashboards and reporting utilities that gives clients a real-time view to monitor messages activity, trade flow, and export reporting. Trade flow and export reporting. Users can then filter this information based on region, country, message types, and related parameters. SWIFT even offers utilities and reporting for Know Your Customer KYC identity verification anti-money laundering, AML, and sanctions, anti-money laundering. Money laundering is a serious felony crime. Who uses SWIFT? SWIFT founders designed the network to facilitate communications about treasury and correspondent transactions only. The system is so robust that SWIFT has been able to gradually expand beyond its original mission. It now offers services to banks, corporate businesses, foreign exchanges, clearing systems, asset management companies, money brokers, non-bank financial institutions, depositories, banks, corporate businesses, foreign exchanges, clearing systems, asset management companies, money brokers, non-bank financial institutions, depositories. 
well, I have to stop here and come back later. Hmm.